Hey there, welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? As usual, I'm going to share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. So take one moment, meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hi, number one. Welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? As usual, I'm going to share with you all the energy that does come through, and I'm not going to leave anything out. You know that we live in a yin and a yang universe, okay? So it can come out either way. I just want you to be prepared. But I also want you to know that you have the power to feel the way that you want to feel. So just because this person may feel a certain way about you, if you feel like it's not good, you do not have to absorb their opinion, right? And feel bad. So let's get straight into your reading. I have here the Rose Quartz Crystal. This is what you're naturally drawn to. The Rose Quartz. This is compassion, forgiveness, unconditional love. So this is one of the highest vibrational crystals um, in the realm of crystals, right? This is one of the highest vibrations because, of course, love is what holds the universe together, okay? When you hear God is love, that is true because everything that is of goodness is of God and everything else, well, we're creating it ourselves, okay? So let's take a look. You have the Syrians, this is artistic um, integrity and honesty energy, okay? So with the Arterians uh, being here is your first card you're drawn to. This person sees you as someone that's honest and does have high integrity, also sees you a bit, you know, like artistic, right? Um, the way that you dress, the way that you express yourself, your gifts and your talents. This is how they view you. I also want to point out that the planet Venus is coming through quite clear because the planet Venus here is about beauty and it's about love. So I can see that this person does find you to be attractive, physically attractive, gorgeous, right? So they see you as aesthetically um, attractive. I feel like there's some spiritual traits that you do have that spiritual beauty where you are warm, right? You're generous. And let me just say this, and I told you I was not going to leave anything out. Number one, sometimes you're generous to a fault, meaning that you're so generous to people that don't deserve it sometimes that those people will tend to take advantage of you. So be conscious of that. Be conscious of that and only go towards areas where you're appreciated, right? So let's gain more insight. So what is the energy as it does relate? So what's happening here? What is this energy? You have the King of Wands. Oh my goodness. This King of Wands, Wands energy. Okay, let's first say this. Wand energy, it's fire. So you're dealing with the fire zodiac signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. And the top placements of your chart or the chart of this person, right? It's, it's baby, it's spontaneous, okay? So he views you as someone as spontaneous. Like you can, you have a, that spontaneity about you, like, one moment you could be in this situation ship and then the next moment you can cut him off, right? You can completely cut him off and block him, right? So there's that spontaneity. But also here with the King of Wands energy, this is this energy where this King of Wands is like, he views you as being very bold, right? You stand out in a cryo crowd amongst the crowd you stand out okay and you don't have to be doing anything specific it's 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 the way that you look um the way that you carry yourself your energy stands out um in a crowd okay so with the king of wands this is also charm i feel like you charm this person he may not admit it but you charm this person a lot and that charm 
is um, it comes from the courage that you have. It's the courage that you have to say what's on your mind, say how you feel, and do what you want to do. Okay, so this this is that King of Wands energy. I feel like this person also sees you with a King of Wands. This person feels like this is your true match. This King of Wands is your true match. Okay. And also, did I mention number one? Could you please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed? That is how you can help to support. Subscribe to the channel because I really enjoy sharing my gifts, my psychic gift and my gift of uh, tarot interpretation with you that um, this is something that it just drives me, right? I wake up in the morning thinking about you guys. I go to sleep at night thinking about you and, and what message I I want to share with you, okay? So if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel, especially if you're not already subscribed. And make sure you hit that like button. And at the end of the reading, if the reading does resonate with you or inspires you, leave a comment below. Music. So music is significant, okay, in how he views you. So something definitely to do with music. Um, you could be gifted in music, right? And he sees that. He sees your gifts. He sees your talent. You could just love music. Or there's a specific song that you guys have in common. Or a song that when you hear that song, you think about him. Or if he hears a song, he thinks about you. But music is significant. Okay, here in the reading. So let's gain more insight. How does he view you right now? How does he view you? What is up with that? Attention of others. Didn't I just say that you actually grab the attention of others when you're in public spaces? But this is what he's saying, honey. This is his message to you. He said, I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed, and I don't feel whole without it. Does that sound about right when thinking about this guy? You know, even if his attention seeking is a little subtle, right? You can pretty much tell, oh, you just want attention, right? Even if he ghosts, right? If he goes ghost, you know, ghosting and stuff. So even when a person a person does ghosting, that is because they want your attention. They want you to call. They want you to text. They want you to reach out. They want you to say, hey, what's wrong or what's going on? So they are, in essence, seeking your attention. Okay. So this is what he wants. You know, he views you as someone that does um, give him the attention that he needs and um, desires. So let's gain more insight. Let's see a wash popping. Wash. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying wash popping. I don't even know. But anyway, let's see what's up. So you have a belief is only a thought I keep thinking. Mm. This is a clear message coming through from your spirit guides, okay? That a belief, it is only a thought that you keep thinking. A belief is only a thought that you keep a thinking. And so the spirit guides say, so if, if a belief is only a thought that you keep thinking and you keep thinking a thought that is in opposition to what you want, then the reason you don't get what you want is because you keep thinking a thought that is in opposition to what you want. Ooh, this is a clear message coming through from your spirit guides right now, encouraging you to really focus on what you want and what you don't want. Okay. Focus on like, if you want a, a loyal, loving, understanding relationship with someone, you focus on those qualities and characteristic traits. Now it may not necessarily be with, um, this person in this reading that you'll attract that relationship from. But if you focus on those personalities and characteristic traits within yourself, and when you think about what your ideal mate is and what your ideal mate would have, and you always think about those traits, then you'll get that feeling of that feeling of adoring that person, right? That feeling of just really like feeling excited about that person. And that feeling is your magnet, 
your feeling is your magnet to the universe. It allows you to attract what it is you want to attract. Okay, so keep that in mind. So if you're wondering why is there so much frustration when it comes to, you know, a few of your relationship connections is because sometimes you give your attention more to the things that are causing the frustration. And I know you're like, what? That, but that doesn't make sense because I'm not the one that's the problem. Am I the problem? I couldn't be the problem, right? Um, it's not you that's the problem. It's where you're giving your attention to. Okay, so let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit? So you got the administrator and it's Saturn. I walk with a foot in both the earthly and the spiritual realm is what Saturn says. This is what Saturn says. This is how Saturn it, express itself. Saturn is a planet that is grounded. So this person does recognize your grounded qualities that you do have. I do want to point out also that Saturn is ruled by Capricorn. So Capricorn is significant in a top placements of his chart or your chart. Capricorn could be in your sun, moon, or rising sign or his, the person that you came to this reading for. And also with the wand energy, I'm not sure if I mentioned that Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries could be there as well because that is the fire energy. Now, getting back here to Saturn and the, the characteristic traits of the planet Saturn, this person definitely sees you as someone that is organized. You're organized, okay? He sees you as being really more confident than he is. Sees your confidence. Um, you're assertive. You're more disciplined than he is. That's how he does view you. And um, <laughs> you're moral. You're moral. That's not to say he's totally immoral, but you are moral, honey. You have your morals and you stick by them. Okay. And so let's gain... Let's gain some more insight. Let's gain more insight. Give me one second. I am feeling a different deck right now for you. Give me one second. Okay, so what's happening here, Spirit? What's that energy? How does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? Right now. Ascending transcending obstacles. Well, this is in correlation with Saturn, ascending and transcending obstacles. Great correlation. So I love the fact that ascending did come out laying right here next to Saturn. This is great. So this is like learning, learning. You, you're able to learn your lessons. You're like, look, I learned that lesson. I'm not going to repeat that one. No, I may make future mistakes, you know, and keep that in mind. Number one, don't be so hard on yourself. You critique yourself a lot. Right, and I'm here to to let you know that you're doing just fine. You are doing just fine. Earth is a school and not a courtroom. Okay, so don't be so hard on yourself. But this person sees you as someone that's able to grow. You're able to grow. You're always in a new phase, right? And I can also see that your spirit here, you're you're preparing for a union. You're preparing for a union, like a new relationship, or a proposal, or even a marriage. That's the energy that's coming through here for you. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. That union, that relationship, the proposal, the marriage. Let's focus on that. And keep it in mind. So let's gain more insight. So how does he view you right now? How does he view you? Hmm. The goddess Oshun. Forgiveness. And did we get that earlier? We got that earlier. That sometimes, well, I said generous, that sometimes you can be generous to a fault. And only to a fault because people take advantage of your kindness. They look at your kindness for weakness. And that's okay. That's their fault. That's not yours. That shows that there's something wrong with their perception and not your perception. So continue to be kind 
and continue to be generous, but just know where to distribute your kindness and your generosity, okay? Just know where to distribute that so that you don't feel, you know, alone or you don't feel like people don't acknowledge, you know, the goodness that you do from your heart. So with the goddess Oshun here, so I can see that he definitely views you as someone that is forgiving. You are able to give people multiple chances time after time, even some people that don't deserve it. You're able to give um, him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. And so that's how he views you right now. So number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And don't forget, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That is how you can support and don't miss a video upload. Leave a comment below. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number two, welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I'm going to share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. And as you know, we live in a yin and yang universe. Okay, so there are positive and there are negative energies all around. So no matter how this person views you, right? I want you to only accept what's true to you. You don't have to absorb someone else's view of you if you do not want to. All right. And number two, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It is how you can help to support. So let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to your card holding the black obsidian crystal. Now, this is a perfect choice for you. The black obsidian is highly regarded as a protective stone. It's known for its ability to block, absorb, and transform negative energy, okay? The obsidian is believed to be the stone of clarity, right? With the ability to release emotional, physical, and spiritual blockages, drawing out stress and tension. So this is a perfect choice for you. Now let's see what card you are drawn to. You're drawn to the Tile Seashans. Ooh, and that Tile Seashans energy, honey, it is resilience, um, being bold and sassy, knowing who you are, what you want, what you want to do, right? It's very important to you, and he views you in this light, okay? He knows that he cannot control you. He can't tell you what to do. Um, you're going to do whatever you feel like you want to do, okay? So let's gain more insight. Well, what is the energy as it does relate? What's happening here? How does he view you? How does he view you? Mm, the hanged man. With a hanged man energy. <laughs> this is interesting because, of course, that hanged man's right? This is like viewing things from a different perspective, right? Um, having the wisdom to discern what the truth is, okay? So this is how he views you. He sees you as someone as, you know, you're not easy to fool. He can't um, pull the wool over your eyes. He cannot get one over on you, right? And sometimes you kind of play the game. You play the game and you're like, okay, I'm just going to act like I don't know or I don't see what's going on, but I see all of this stuff, okay? But he thinks you don't, you know, he, he knows that he can't uh, pull the wool over your eyes, but sometimes you play along and sometimes he feels like, huh, I wonder if she noticed that. But you've noticed it all along. you noticed it all along. I can tell you what was coming through. He wants you to see him as a different person. He is truly wanting you to see him in a new perspective, in a new light. I feel like this person is going for like a new career, a new job or something right now, right? Trying to level up his game, okay? And and he wants you to see him as that person really trying to do some cool stuff. He wants you to see him as cool, <laughs> the cool guy. Okay, let's gain more insight. A timeout. So a timeout, this is about you being able to move on. 
He knows you'll take that time out. He knows you'll stop talking. You'll stop communicating. You're going to take time out for yourself, right? Because you know the value of self-care. You know the value of placing yourself first, prioritizing your well-being. You know that. And so if you have to pull back your energy and take back your power, that's exactly what you're going to do. And this is how he sees you. He knows that he better walk light, come correct, or don't come at all. Because you, you will cut him off. You'll cut anybody off. That's the thing. It's not only him. It's not only him. Your peace of mind is most important, okay? That's why you were drawn here to the Tyosetians. You're resistant, you're bold, you're sassy. You're able to tell him, hey, go kick rocks. And you don't act like it's a boulder. Go kick rocks, <laughs> okay? So he knows that. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy as it does relate to what's happening here? How does he view you right now? Ooh, I feel lost without you. This is a clear statement that he is in his feelings. And honey, this is in resonance with the five of cups energy where it's loss, it's regret, it's grief, it's feeling abandoned, right? Feeling unloved, basically feeling sorry for himself, okay? This is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. And again, he views you as being bold, being sassy, but also with the lost energy coming through, he sees you as an empath, right? So when he pulls back, gets quiet, go ghost, he's wanting you to think about him more when he does that. He just knows that, oh, she's going to give me a call. I know she's thinking about me because I shut down. I went quiet. And so he knows, he feels like you're an empath. I feel lost without you. This guy's dealing with some regret. Regret of his actions, something he said, or even something he did. He's dealing with a bunch of freaking regret. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind as we continue the reading. So let's see here. What is happening, spirit? So what is happening, spirit? <laughs> this guy is so funny. I don't know. Goodness. Stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn AF. Stubborn AF. You're resilient. He's stubborn. So let's see. You have the four of swords. Cut them off. Block them out. Retreat. That's a confirmation of what we just said. That sword energy, it's Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements of his chart or yours. But the four of swords, honey, this is you retreating. <laughs> this is you saying time out. This is the same energy. This is you retreating. This is how he sees you pulling back, right? Um, taking a break, renewing your mind, your body, your spirit. Going into solitude, going into solitude, getting quiet, pulling away because you feel like I got to recover from certain things, everything that's going on, the challenges that I'm facing. I have to recover from this stuff. And so um, he sees you as one willing to do that. Because again, your well-being is your top priority. That's how you move. That's how you roll. So let's gain more insight. So what is the energy as it does? I wanted to use this card here. One second. I am feeling this energy here. What's that energy spirit? How does he, how does he view you? The muse. He's inspired by you. The planet Venus, the planet of beauty and love. Okay, the planet Venus rules over Libra and Taurus. So you can have also that resilient Taurus. You got that stubborn Taurus as well. We talked about being stubborn. Taurus is also resilient. Um, so that's coming through. You got grounded. You're grounded. You know exactly. Um, your feet is grounded, right? You know exactly what you want. You know who you are. Okay. Um, you're practical. Okay. And then you got Libra. You're aware. You're socially aware. You can walk in a room and you can read the room. You can read the energy 
of the, of the relationship. You may not know the specifics of what he's thinking or saying, or even doing, but you know the energy. You know if the energy is off, you know if it's on. So you got Taurus and Libra either in the top placements of his chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading. But he's inspired by you, right? You inspire him. Because you are creative. And let me just say this, number two, you're divinely connected and he sees this. He, he knows this. He's not as spiritually aware as you, but he knows that, you know, you are divinely connected. He doesn't say divinely connected, but he just knows it. And you are, you are, you're well taken care of. You're guided, loved and protect it, okay? He views you as being emotional. Don't play with you. Don't play with you. And you're sensitive. You're sensitive. So although you're a Taiocetian, resilient, bold, and sassy, you're sensitive as well. But guess what? He's more sensitive than you are. This, this guy is in his feelings a lot. And you're intuitive. You're intuitive. So with that intuitive energy of Venus, this is about you trusting yourself. Trust yourself. So let's get more insight. And so what is the energy as it does relate? How does he view you? How does he view you? How does lightning sudden change. Did we get that earlier about you being able to cut it off, cut off the relationship, cut off any situation, walk away from things that are no longer serving you? Like you're a surprise to him. He doesn't really know what's going to happen a lot of the times, right? A lot of the times he doesn't know you're able to change, right? That's what lightning is. I can definitely see that there was some sort of like upheaval in this relationship connection. Like something happened between you two. Something happened, okay? Or, or you experienced some sort of upheaval, some sort of challenge, which is why you're strong. It's why you're as strong as you are today because you faced, you know, uh, childhood challenges and you had to uh, grow through certain things, okay? And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you and inspire you. If it does, drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number three, welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Let's jump straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to your card holding the amethyst crystal. Now, what I love about the amethyst, now, usually amethyst is like deep purple. You'll see it in a deep purple or even like, well, lavender, deep lavender or light lavender. This is the light lavender from the bottom part of the stone. Okay, now this is a perfect choice for you because amethyst represents lux luxury, wealth, and power. Okay, it's spiritually healing. It helps to clarify um, your intentions or your thoughts. This also really helps you to align with cosmic energy. So this is a perfect choice for you. You are also drawn here to your card, the Pleiadians, which is unconditional love, excitement, and laughter. Now, with this energy coming through, I can definitely see that this person sees you as a lighthearted person, um, very fun, uplifting. You're the light bringer. You don't like drama. You don't want to discuss too. Like you, you look just for, you know, um, just for being informed, but you can't take too much like crime stories or negative vibrations. It, it just is too much for you. Okay. So this guy sees you as someone that loves to laugh. I feel like you have a unique laugh. 
<laughs> and um, he sees you as someone that just really you enjoy the good things in life. Okay, so let's see. Let's gain more insight. So what is that energy spirit? How does he view you? Number three, parenting. Mm. With parenting coming through, this is the imprint. This is good parenting. So I see you as someone that could definitely be a good parent. Um, you also have the gift of birthing like creative ideas you have the gift of birthing creative ideas so creativity and children are significant in how he does view you um, abundance he feels like you have everything you have everything a person could want like you have the outer beauty as well as the inner beauty right you have you are um, a person of good intention, okay? Good integrity. So this is how he views you. And also nurturing, very warm-hearted and nurturing energy. So let's gain more insight. You got the Four of Pentacles. Now let me point this out. Got the four of pentacles this is earth and it's physical you got that pentacle energy you got you got uh taurus you got capricorn you got virgo here in the top placements of his chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading but the four of pentacles it is um you have a desire honey for long-term security you know that you want to live a lifestyle that is of abundant nature and prosperous. And that is really good. You know why? Because that lifestyle is aligned with the creator of the universe. Just look at our planet. Look how lush and abundant it is. That is an alignment. And also in ancient text, even the Bible, it says the streets of heaven are paved with gold. So if the streets of heaven are paved with gold, then wow, what type of consciousness do you think our creator of the universe has? Well, it has a wealthy, rich consciousness. And this is the way he views you because you want long-term security. All right. Now he may say, and I told you I'm not leaving anything out. He may call it greedy. He may call it greedy. Okay. That's why pers perspectives are very important. Perspectives are very important. We live on a planet with over 8 billion people, but guess what? We live in 8 billion different worlds because although there's 8 billion different people, everybody has their own view and their own perspective. And it's perfectly fine for you to have this rich, abundant mindset that you have. And if he doesn't see it, then so be it. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? And so how does he view you? How does he view you? Ghosted. He says, I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. You don't say. You don't say. <laughs> and he's think he thinks you're not aware of when you're being ghosted. He also views you as someone that um, is easy to forgive, to give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind and trust your intuition as it does relate to this guy. So when he's ghosting and disappearing, I need you to know that this is also a tactic to gain more of your attention. When he pulls away, what do you do? You start to think harder. Oh, what's wrong with him? I wonder what he's doing. Let me check and see. So it's a game. It's a tactic to get more of your attention. Okay, so let's gain more insight. What is this energy spirit coming through? With this guy, 
<laughs> Who thinks he's a little slickety slick? Not quite, buddy. Not quite. Not quite, buddy. Not quite. You're not slick. There it is. Three of swords. <laughs> Sword energy. It's the mind. It's intellect. It's air. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Top placements of your chart or his as a confirmation here in the reading. But nevertheless, the three of swords is about heartbreak, a divorce, loss, depression, right? Feeling some type of way. He knows that you've been through a challenging relationship connection. And he thinks about this a lot. He knows that you've had your heart broken before. And he thinks about it a lot. So you might ask, well, why does he behave the way that he does? Well, let me give you the answer in short. He behaves the way that he does because he feels the exact same way. He's hurt about something that he has experienced. That doesn't mean that you should tolerate what's been going on in this connection. It's really saying that you're on the right path with raising your standards. So you've been thinking about it for a long time, number three, like what should I do? How should I approach my relationships? It's really about just raising your standards and once you raise your standards, right? That person with the, with the personality and the characteristic traits that you are desiring will be there for you. They will be there. And so let's gain more insight. What's that energy spirit as it does relate? What we got? We got, I can praise abundance wherever I see it. Did we just get this message? I can praise abundance wherever I see it. Did we just get this message? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Thank you, Spirit. I'm so grateful when Spirit does show up and show out, validate your questions and concerns, because we got it here with the Four of Pentacles. And just because you want a life of wealth and abundance, people want to have some feel some kind of way about it. Well, if you feel negative about it and always feeling like you can't do something or can't have something, that's a poverty mindset. Okay, so that's why this guided message came out specifically for you. And let's see what your angel guides have to say. So they are saying, if you seek financial well-being for yourself, you must praise it wherever you see it. If you would like more abundance for yourself personally or for others you care about, you must not criticize those who are experiencing abundance. Now, this is from your spirit guides immediately after we got this message. And when you criticize or condemn or push against anything, you activate an opposing vibration to what you seek every time with no exceptions. Hmm, let's read that again. So your spirit guides say, when you criticize or condemn or push against anything, you activate an opposing vibration to what you seek every time. No exceptions. Whoa, 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 whoa. That just gives me chills. That, that really... <laughs> And it definitely confirmed my beliefs, you know. You know, I know it's kind of easy for us. You know, we have challenges, right? We have challenges. And sometimes we feel like, oh my God, if I just had this or if I just had that. Or, you know, why do these people have so much here and these people have so little? But we really want to take uh, a conscious look at our words and what we're saying and at what we're actually really emitting out into the universe because we're emitting a vibration of lack. 
okay? So what I'm saying is this person sees you as someone that has more than him, is abundant, has a wealthy mindset, is looking, right, for the beauty in life. You offer that unconditional love. You offer the spiritual gift of excitement and laughter. Despite the challenges you've been through, So you are on the right path. So despite the hurt here with the relationship connections, right? You still look for and you still emit unconditional love. Well, guess what? That's coming back to you. The excitement to enjoy life is coming to you. The laughter, more laughter here. And with the four of pentacles showing up. That, you know, the four of pentacles, that long-term security is here for you. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy as it does relate? What is happening here, spirit? What we got? What we got? What we got? The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. <laughs> no second chances. And I find this quite interesting. The Grim Reaper sitting here right between ghosted, which is what? What is a ghosted energy? It's an energy of separation. It's certainly not an energy of togetherness. So ghosted. So when the, you know when this person is ghosting you, they are emitting that energy of separating right? But guess what it's doing for you? It's allowing you to grow and for you to transform your life. Allowing you to grow and transform your life. They see you as someone that is growing despite, ooh, this is so nice. This is so nice that the sun came through. The sun, the king, let me point out that the sun rules over the zodiac sign of Leo, okay? And Leo is the only zodiac sign ruled by the sun, all right? Leo is the only zodiac sign lit ruled by the sun. It's regal, it's powerful energy. This person views you as passionate, courageous, responsible, benevolent, creative, innovative, decisive. You are directive, you know what you want. Okay, you are a visionary and you are well respected. You respect yourself, so you're well respected. Keep in mind that the most important relationship is the relationship between you and your inner being. And see, you're clearly on that path, right? of even more greater self-discovery. You're aligned with the greater version of who you are. And this person recognizes that they view you for that. They view your self-love, self-assurance, self-respect. And again, that unconditional love, that not only that you have for yourself, but you even have that for others. And it's clear to see. I can see also with the sun being here that this person views you as someone that is being is able to be in the spotlight to inspire other people with something that you do. Okay? The sun is also here. Um, it offers material happiness and a joyous outcome. It offers success. And part of your reading has been the energy of prosperity and abundance. So again, I'm so grateful when your cards align, when spirit validates even other questions and concerns. So you may have come here for not only for, you know, to answer the question of how does he view you, but spirit will give you other answers as well that are inside that are inside your mind, inside your heart. Spirit's going to answer that. So you may have had a question about your finance, finances and certain things you should do and stuff like that. So those questions are being validated, your concerns answered. And so beautiful number three, 
This does conclude your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you and inspires you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? It's how you can support. Leave a comment below. I love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.